In this video, I want to talk about what do you clothe yourselves in? I'm not referring to the literal outer garments that we wear. This clothing is a, a spiritual clothing. Many people will take upon themselves or clothe themselves with these many fancy titles, such as Christians, Catholics, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, Episcopalians, Methodists, Seventh-day Adventists, and the list goes on and on. See, that's clothing that one wears. And they wear that clothing proudly. But yet, that is not the clothing that Christ commanded his followers to put on. He asked us, no, he commanded us to put on the clothing of being his disciples and to make disciples to him. When the human family places all these many fancy towels, clothing uh, on themselves, they cause division. I'll give you an example. An individual yesterday, or it could have been this morning, on one of my videos, mentioned something about uh, the Pope, the papacy, that the uh, Pope, or the Pope's, they're antichrist. And he went on to say something like, uh, no Christian will have an excuse not to know that because all Christians have been told this. Do you see the error there? The assumption there is that Jesus told his disciples to be called Christians. Jesus never commanded anyone to be called Christians. So for one to make the opinion, because it's a long-standing tradition concerning this teaching that uh, uh, the popes or the papacy is antichrist, because that's what Christianity wants to believe, yet there's no scriptural substantiation for that other than antichrist is not uh, one, antichrist is many. And this is found in 1 John chapter 2, verse 18, and 2 John 7. There are many antichrist, and they existed as far back as the Apostle John's day, and even up to this day. And there's something else here. Those types of persons assume that Catholics are not Christians, yet Catholicism is the largest branch of Christianity. Many of these so-called Christians have taken it upon themselves to say that Catholics are not Christians. Well, who says that you are not a Christian? It's okay for you to say Catholics are not Christians, but you would take exception if a Catholic said to you that you are not a Christian. See how narrow-minded and blind that is? So what many of these Christians do, they, they create a playing field that only they can operate in. You know what I'm saying? They, they set the rules and then they expect everyone to play by their rules. You can't say that Catholics, we're talking 1.5 billion people who are Catholics are not Christians. They believe and they say that they're Christians. So who are you to say that they're not Christians? And who are you to say that uh, the popes or the papacy is Antichrist? because you have a personal gripe or grind with the Catholics. See, those types of Christians do the exact same thing with regards to Seventh-day Adventists, saying they're not Christians. They do the exact same thing with regards to Jehovah's Witnesses, saying they're not Christians. But if you were to talk to a Seventh-day Adventist and a Jehovah's Witness, they're gonna tell you, yeah, we're Christians. But in your mind, they're not, because you say so. My point here is that Jesus never commanded anyone to be called Christian. So when persons wear the clothing of Christians and uh, Catholics and Protestants and Baptists and Methodists and Seventh-day Adventists, Jehovah's Witnesses, and on and on, they're wearing divisive clothing and they are not being obedient to the one they claim they follow. Jesus never commanded his followers to be called Christians. He commanded that his followers be called disciples, will be known as his disciples, and to go out, to go, that's a command, and make disciples to him, teaching them what he taught us. And this is found at Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20. So, what type of clothing do you wear? My clothing? I am a disciple of Christ. And with that said, this is R. Jerome Harris, the disciple. Thank you.
brother's name.